Yes, it's a startup of IT Kharagpur people and they mainly work on document analysis and uh, the eligibility criteria for ARC was 65% in 10th and 12th and uh, there were no eligibility criteria in terms of CPI for BTEX uh, and MTEX and uh, all the branches uh, were allowed. Uh, ARC written test consists of, uh, was of 40 minutes and it was an offline test. Uh, uh, the offline test mainly comprises of uh, questions from aptitude and puzzles part and uh, they asked uh, very basic questions on um, linked list and uh, trees in data structures and then uh, one section was on uh, uh, out on like what is the output of this C and C++ program and is there any error like each section consists of five or six questions and uh, there was no negative marking in that and the like question from C were uh, pretty much uh, easier and um, like in, in the data structure the few questions were from like are the trees identical or not like and um, the few questions were on uh, like uh, to count uh, like how many uh, times a particular number has occurred in a linked list and uh, these few questions were there and in the aptitude part the question were, uh, was on like horse racing and uh, there was a question like um, the, uh, given a triangle and the three and sitting on the three parts of a triangle what is the probability that they won't uh, meet and um, the questions were pretty much easier and the time was enough. Uh, interview process consisted of uh, two rounds, one was a technical interview and the other was a HR round. Round one was a technical round. Um, as the round started, they started uh, asking me questions on OOPS concepts and uh, the, they were pretty simple questions on like what's the definition of encapsulation, what do you understand by OOPS concept uh, and this all and then they uh, start asking in um, uh, uh, linked list, uh, uh, the, like one or two questions they asked about linked list and then there was a simple question from C, like they gave some infinite loop uh, and I could not recall the question properly but uh, uh, the question was written. then they asked like up to where, uh, like they were printing uh, some integer value and they, were, they asked me like up to where it can print value in that infinite loop and uh, the, what they were testing is like how confident you are in giving uh, answers and that's all. Next was the HR round. In HR round they were, uh, uh, they uh, initially they asked me about like uh, where, from where you belong and about my family background and all. Uh, then they asked about my project like what you are currently working on and uh, then they asked about my uh, like what in the future uh, do you want to do. Like basically they want to ask whether I will be staying with their company in a lo uh, long run or not and uh, so like I told them like I am not interested in uh, further studies for now and uh, I am interested in coding so like that's why I like I will be continuing with them and uh, uh, like um, all the questions are fine and uh, like, she asked uh, the HR asked one question which was quite tricky that she asked like suppose uh, I I am interviewing two, two guys whom I don't know and they both are saying that they have equal caliber, they know this much things, then on what ground should I take you? So like these are the questions uh, for which you should prepare yourself and uh, it will go fine if you like speak confident, you know. Uh, I am a uh, non-CSE guy, so firstly what I look uh, like I worked on my basics, I tried to make my concepts clear in C and C++. I, what I used to do is, like I used to program a few uh, like on basic on basic C programs so that I uh, come to, uh, I come in a habit of uh, program as most of the tests uh, like uh, as for uh, online tests are um, for programming are there in um, interviews and uh, then what I basically, then after I finished with C, then I uh, worked on uh, this uh, data structures and in data structure what I did is like uh, I just uh, went through um, like many times I practiced the same questions and tried to do it differently like uh, so that um, uh, I just remember all these questions how to do I just went through the few basic, co basic questions and in, uh, in, tree, in, uh, in trees and link lists uh, and uh, then I prepared for uh, OOPS, I prepared OOPS concepts and uh, like these are the things that uh, uh, that, that are asked in most of the interviews 
and uh, uh, like uh, what they basically uh, look for is like if you are a non CSE guy, they just look like whether you have that uh, ability of programming in you or not. So like uh, it may be like, you do not need to program it correctly. Like you may get syntax error and all that, but what you need like do you have that logical thinking for programming and not that's the basic thing that they look for in any interview and 